and this is why I wear a hat now. What is going on everybody? My name is James or Jeans Gamer and welcome back to a brand new video today on the channel. Welcome back to a brand new story, pussy. Basically guys, a long time ago on the channel, I uploaded this video meeting famous people and in that video I said something like I met, like on a serious note, David Hay was one of the nicest celebrities that I've ever met. I met David Hay guys, that's very true. I did meet David Hay. Here's the picture for quick proof. I can't believe I haven't told you guys the backstory about what happened with David Hay. It was so fucking funny, it was just so weird, and it was so cool, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna fucking share it with the Jeeves Nation. So let's just get straight into this. So for you guys that don't know, David Hay is one of the world's best boxers. Probably already got a dislike on the video because he's not, and he's shit. I don't know, I don't really follow boxing that in depth to know who are the best boxers. I just like watching the big fights because I'm a bandwagon hopper. Don't hate me for that, everyone is, alright? No hate directed to diehard boxing fans, I'm only joking. It was just a bit of banter, don't hate me. But David Hay is a very notorious boxer, he's very big in the boxing scene. And this twat right here met him. Let's just get into the backstory of this fucking meeting David Hay story. Should I title the video that? I don't know, let's see what the title comes. Gotta make it clickbait guys, gotta stay relevant. So some of you guys may or may not know that when I was younger, I was very, very, very addicted to going up to London to have a look at nice cars. Sad as fuck, I don't care. I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed chasing cars around, well Lamborghinis and Ferraris around London. because. I loved it and I was obsessed with cars. And I don't know how many of you guys are into cars yourself, but have you ever heard of a rally called Gumball 3000? Basically guys, it's a rally that goes across the world. All these nice cars come together and they just drive in a big convoy together across the world. It looks fucking amazing and I would love to do it eventually one day in my life. So I was like to one of my friends, Gumball's coming to Regent Street, which is close to me. It's in London somewhere. I don't actually know if it's central, west or east or whatever the fuck it is. It's in London, that's all I needed to know. And I was like, do you know what? We've got a go to this Gumball rally. So that's exactly what me and my friend did. We went straight up to London and we was waiting there for about four or five hours for the cars to come. We got fucking blown out. Hardly any cars come. They come really, really late and both of us had school the next day. This is how long ago it was. We had fucking... This is how long ago it was. I was still at school. So it was about two, three years ago. So me and my friend were waiting at the barriers and we was like, do you know what? Shall we go and get something to eat? So we was like, do you know what? We'll cut through this little back street. And we see this big fuck off Mercedes coming down the road and we're like, shit, shall we just wait to see who owns this car or see if anyone gets out the car that we may know? The number plate was something like GL13 OBE, and obviously OBE is something you get from the Queen over here in the UK, I think. I might be wrong, I'm sorry. So this fuck off Mercedes pulls over, and this absolute machine gets out of it. David, hey. And me and my friend, we just look at each other, and we're like, is that Snoop Dogg? No, I'm just kidding. We was like, is that David Hay? And then being weird kids, guys, me and my friend, we followed David Hay, and we was like, is that David Hay? I really don't know. And then there was other people looking at him like, yeah, that's David Hay. And then he went into this restaurant, and me and my friend were like, we're going in there. We go in there, he's fucking disappeared. We're like, shit. So we go back near his car, and we're just sitting there like, I want to meet David Hay, man. It's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And then we're waiting there for a good half an hour, and then David comes back, and then we're like, shit, what do we do now? Do we go up to him? What if he punches us in the face? Obviously, he wouldn't do that, guys, because he knows I would fuck him up. And then we're like, shit, he's getting near his car, he's gonna fuck off. My friend goes, David! David! <coughs> I'm not even kidding, it was in that high-pitched voice, which was like, David! And he turns around, and we're like, oh my god, can we get a picture? And he's like, yeah, sure, of course he can. And then he takes my friend's phone, takes a picture with my friend, and I'm like, oh, can I get one as well, please, David? And he's like, yeah, 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 and he takes my friend's phone again, and takes the picture, and this is what picture he took. And then he was just like really nice. He was like the nicest person I've ever met. He was so down to earth. He was such a cool guy. He obviously is meant to be arrogant as a boxer, but no, he was very, very, very cool. Thank you, David. David! And then me and my friend, we were buzzing, guys. We sent it to all our friends. I sent it to my mum. She put it straight on Facebook. Fucking hell, mum. That was just a very memorable moment, guys. The way me and my friend were just sitting on this curb waiting to see if he came back within the next half an hour, which he did. And as soon as he come back, my friend's like, David! David! But nevertheless, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. This was the backstory about how me and my friend met David Hay. I know some of you OGs are probably like, geez, I already fucking knew you met David Hay, you prick. But I thought I would share the whole story with you guys because I know you guys enjoy the stories and it was just funny. The way my friend was just like, David. I've already done that about 15 times in this video. I'm sorry. But if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could smack a like on it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for daily content from this twat right here. Guys, thank you so much for the consistent support on the videos. I seriously appreciate it. It seriously means a lot to me. But nevertheless, thank you very much for watching. And peace the fuck out, you OP motherfuckers.